And I think, it, I still think it's mind-blowing that according to Einstein's theory alone, time ends inside a black hole. So the singularity is correctly thought of as a moment in time and the end of time. So the nearest large galaxy, Andromeda, is about two million light years away, which means light traveling at 300,000 kilometers per second, from, from our point of view, takes two million years to travel from the and Andromeda galaxy to us. So if you go away from the city lights and, and out into on, on a clear sky, and when there's no moon particularly, then you, you'll be able to see Andromeda if you've got some binoculars, and it's worth looking at. Because the light entering your eye began its journey two million years ago, which is before we devolved on Earth in something that's called Mars Sample Return. Because we think that it's possible that life existed on Mars or may still exist, because the conditions were right. When, when life began on Earth, Mars was pretty much the same with oceans and an atmosphere and, and so on. So it's entirely possible. Ingredients of life itself, you know, hydrogen is in our bodies. That was birthed in the Big Bang. And then we have carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, silicon, uh, iron. Those elements did not come from the Big Bang. They came from stars. It's not just figuratively true. It's literally true that we are stardust. Yes, I think it's more than that. It's essential.